Hello and welcome to another Dell Boy video and uh, it's a continuation again of my friends suggesting games for me to play um, and this one means that we're in the second round and we're at the end of the second round and it's my old mate Mainmeister who suggested this one. Now I did ask him last night um, can he suggest a second game? But unfortunately, he was very busy. But he supplied two games to me um, last time. So he suggested playing the second game. And that's fine by me because that second game is a corker. One that I played an awful lot back in the day. Not that I was any good at it. Um, I'm never generally very good at sports games or future sports games. I hold my own sometimes, but... That's about as far as it gets. And um, this one is one that I did play. Um, it's a, it's much better as a two-player game, but I tend to find sports games are. Um, but um, this is a very good um, sports game that you can play against the computer. I don't think that the computer cheats, but I do tend to find in this particular game that there seems to be an awful lot of them on the screen and you're f forever trying to get back onto the screen if you're if you um go off of it to come back on it's it's uh i don't think it's a cheat i don't think it's a a problem but it's one that I, frustrated me back in the day now what's the game i'm talking about well you should probably already know from the from the little graphic but it's rocket ball and this game came out, I think, in 1985. Um, and it's based on the film Rollerball that came out in 1975 with James Kahn. Now, there's so many similarities to that film in this, except for in the film, um, not only were they on roller skates and uh, could foul, just like you can in this game, they had motorbikes. And there are no motorbikes uh, in this game. But I'm sort of like waffling a little bit now. We really ought to get to the action, haven't we? So I'll go down to the streaming section here. Um, and I've got the Commodore 64 preloaded. So we'll go to Rocket Ball and load it up. Now, it's automatically set for player one and player two. Um, and I need to change that. There we are. So it's now got uh, player one. I'm now yellow and he's green so we might as well start this off but please don't expect anything from me in this game <laughs> I haven't played it in years and sports games are definitely not um, my forte but uh, here we go this is going to be fun so the aim of the game, obviously, is to score a goal against your opponent. I am yellow, but when I'm selected a player, I'm white. And he's obviously green. So I've got to get it into the green goal. Here we go. Now I'm looking for my player. See, so notice his players are all there. Look, look. where's mine? Where, where's, where, where's my players? Cheating bastards. Right, there we are. Look. There we are. I'm just there. I better knock him out. There we go. And I need to then scroll and get that ball. Got it. Now I need to get it into the green goal. See what I mean? He bloody knocks me off. Oh. oh, honestly, you'll see the amount of times you'll see us all fall over the bloody ball. <laughs> and it'll just go out of play. Ten minutes. Um... The, the game lasts. There's no five minutes interval and then five minutes. It's a full ten minutes. Here we are. The ball's going to be rocketing out. And where's my player? There he is. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look. He's got it already. Right. Knock him out. Look. Always, always he's there behind that ball. How he does that, I don't know. Always. Look, where are my players? Oh, there's one. Decided to come on. Look at that. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Like I say, when they've got the ball, the best thing to do is to try and get the ball off of them by just going into them and knocking them over. 
Look at that, look, look. Where is any of my players? I'm moving the the joystick about, waggling, trying to get my ball, get the players to speed up, slow down, whatever. Look at that. He's always got a player near. near. I mean, I don't know how he does it. Oh. Knock you out, mate. Boom. There you go. Yes. Now I need to. Oh, bastard. That always got a player near. I know I keep saying it, but it's a pain in the ass. I can't get my player on the screen fast enough. I was going to say, if he got that in, then. Oh, flaming. That was my fault then, tip tripping over the ball. But look at that. Look, he just goes for it. Every Three time, look, not, not, yeah, not me out, yeah. It won't be very long before this is going to be like totally free nil to him or something, because I'm having a mare of a time. Look, trying to get this ball. Look at that. Always got a play on the screen. Ah. Oh. I did love this game, though. Playing two players is just sublime. Oh, come on. Oh, see, how many times has he shot now? I haven't even had one go at a, a shot at the bloody goal. <laughs> I'm so shit. I'm so shit. Right. See, I slowed down, and then he's there swooping. Right, I'm in. You know what I mean? Oh. He's going to get it in. He's going to get it in. Yeah. So he's coming, approaching the yellow. Look. Oh, he went for it. Bastard. Oh. Tripped over the ball. I was hoping I could just knock him out. Oh. You can elbow them and you can jump on them and you can throw the ball at them and knock them down and all sorts. Like I said, it's a very, very good sports game. It's just I am useless at it. <laughs> all I'm doing at the moment is just running into them. Right, it's nearly five minutes gone. Oh. Oh. Oh, I nearly got it then. Oh, it's out of play. Well, five minutes gone, nobody scored. Well, that's quite good, because normally it'd be like 3-0. <laughs> but look, I bet you there's a green player that comes on first. Where's my players? Oh, look at that. Finally got caught up. Come on, then. Oh, look at that. Green player. Look at that. You can't help but think, yeah, look. All aimed towards the computer player. Because the amount of times. But um, it's probably just my skills, which is useless. <laughs> Four minutes, come on, we can do it. <laughs> All these signboards that say Quattro. Don't even have that drink anymore. <laughs> but the film, by the way, Rollerball with James Carr. Whoa, what a film. Saw that first on Movie Drone. Years and years and years ago. Oh. Come on. Boom. Get you out of the way. Yes. Whatever. Next goal up. Oh, you git. Oh, got the ball again. 
Get out of the way, green ones. You bastard. Oh, got getting better. Well, I think. Oh. You watch, you'll throw it and bang. Can I get on the screen fast enough? Oh. Right, got it. Oh, you. Oh, that was the first attempt at goal from me. What a shit job I did. <laughs> Where's my players? Oh, there's one. Easy. Oh, and I tripped over the ball. If you can skate round the ball, come up from behind it, and then you know you, you really that's probably the best method to actually do anything. Oh, got the ball, got the ball, got the ball, got the ball. Are you? Oh, so frustrating. Two minutes to go, nobody scored. Oh. Got you. See, look, he's skating up. Oh, he's getting closer, you know, to that bloody goal. Where's my players? There. Oh. Boom. Where's my players? Oh, look at that. See? One minute to go. <sighs> Honest. But, it could have been far more worse, but then again, it's not over yet. But, it's such a great game. Such a great suggestion from Mainmeister as well. Oh. He jumped just at that last minute and knocked me over. Boom. Now, where am I? See, always his player comes on. Uh. Oh, so if I could come up just behind it then. Good God. Can I get down here? Ooh. God. Ball again, but I don't think I can get round in time. Oh, well, he won, one nil. <laughs> Bastard. Yeah, go on, salute to the crowd, gits. It is such a crazy good game. I think it's one of those sort of like, um, Hidden Gems, what they call Hidden Gems. Um, it was... I remember going to the shop to get this game. It was on cassette. Uh, 
and getting it home and loading it. And I thought at first, this is hard. But then after a couple of hours play, I really started to get into it. Now, I mean, just to put it into practice mode, because you can put it in player one, player two, look. I can actually score. It does take me some time. But I can actually score. Um, but I just didn't want to leave it look like, oh, you know, well, what that was the most boringest game you ever saw in your life. But um, here we go. So you skate up to it. If you can crouch to get it. You see, if you if you if you're too fast, you just basically overshoot. Ah, oh, then I knock myself out. Here we go. Right. And I'm aiming for the green. Oh. Like that. Oh. So even in practice, look, I'm shite. <laughs> right. You'll see the numbers down the bottom as well. The actual goal keeps changing every time you score by the way so where it so i want green so it's the next one coming up so it's going to be at it's going to be at the section 3 there so it's at section 3 the next one's going to be at 6 well, that's how i understand how it used to work see see i can score it's it's just like I say, I don't understand why my players are always off screen. But two player, ah, oh, this is immense. This game is immense two player. Oh, up there. That should be the next one up. There we are, and it was. So I was right, it does keep, it does swap. Oh. Fell in front of my own players. Useless. Oh, and then I jumped. Got it. Now I've got to skate all the way around the whole roller derby. <laughs> oh, close. Oh, bloody hell. I deserve to lose with that. Boom. Let's get one more goal and then go. Boom. Knock him out. Oh. Got it. Right. Need up to it. Um. Oh, got it. Oh, got it. Oh, I jumped instead of fired. He's trying to. You know, it's two. It's it's a two-player game. I've got it on, and they're elbowing me. How can that happen? There must be some artificial intelligence to that. Oh. Anyway, that's that, and we'll just round up. In many ways, um. Oh, just bear with me.
in many ways, I'm really glad that game got suggested because I don't think it gets played enough or shown enough. And to be quite honest, it brings back so many memories for me because, you know, there are certain games that stick in your mind. I remember playing Commodore's International Soccer. I remember playing Commodore's um, Basketball, International Basketball, I think it was called. I had those, uh, the basketball on tape and the and the football on cartridge. And um, this is all early days of the Commodore 64. And I only had another couple of sports games. I used to like playing football manager and I had a little Formula One um, um, sort of like manager type game. And so getting something like Rocket Ball was fantastic because if I ever did have anybody come around to have a two player game, we just had immense fun. Um, and I'm going to call it a shot there. Um, I'm so glad that that got suggested. Um, we are at the end of round two. I don't know if there'll be a round three. I I will have a think. I might go out and just do a couple more. Um, what do you guys think? Have you enjoyed this series? Would you like to see some more friends suggest games that are um, so hard that they're, and they're, my friends are so sadistic? that they want to see me suffer. Um, why not have a, have, a, have a think and put a comment in or two? Um, and with that, I'm going to say salute. Uh, until the next time, thanks very much. Bye-bye.